Your knees are bent and your arms are long by your side. You're going to place your hands on your pelvis and we're just going to start with a gentle tuck and tilt. Take a breath in and as you exhale, using only your muscles of your pelvis, draw your pubic bone towards your low back, towards your belly button, and then on your next exhale, you simply untuck. Here we're looking at moving your pelvis only from your pelvic muscles, so keeping your glutes relaxed and light on your feet. Tuck, and then just gently tilt where you're letting the weight of your pelvis land on the mat. As you're tucking and tilting, one of our focus is to keep your rib cage still so you can move your hands up to your ribs and just check as you tuck and as you tilt, are your ribs staying still? So it's a fairly discreet movement. Bringing your arms back down by your side. Now we're gonna roll your pelvis up, take a breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to come into your tuck, press down into your footprint. As you roll up, reach your knees over your toes. Take a breath in, push your heels away from your seat, narrow your knee angle, and exhale, rolling down through your spine. Again, inhale. As you exhale, tuck, press down into your footprint, particularly your big toe pad, reach your knees over your toes. Pause there, press your heels away from your seat, narrow your knee angle, and moving just from your hips, lift your pelvis up just one more inch. Pause, take a breath in, and exhale to roll down through your spine and releasing your pelvis at the bottom. Inhale, exhale, tuck, press down into your feet, particularly your big toe pad, reach your knees over your toes, Check here, are you open through your throat, soft through your ribs? Then press your heels away from your seat, narrow your knee angle, lift your hips up a little bit more. Stay where you are. Feel your feet, are your feet still parallel in line with the center of your hips? And if they are, stay where you are. If not, step them in. And then push down a little more into your right foot and as you exhale, keeping your pelvis nice and still, lift your right, your left foot off the mat. Place your left foot down. Pause, inhale. As you exhale, press down into your left foot, squeezing tightly through your bottom, and then just gently de-weight your right foot. Inhale, press down into your right foot, using your glutes to keep your pelvis lifted, and gently de-weight your left foot. Place your left foot down, inhale, and exhale, gently pick your right foot up. Place your right foot down, take a breath in, and exhale, roll down through your spine. Good, bring your legs into your chest, give them a little hug, a nice little stretch for your low back, and place your feet down on the mat. Arms go out to your teeth, take a breath in, and exhale, just rock your knees over to the right. Inhale, pause. Exhale, use your abdominals to bring yourself back to center, and then inhale over to the other side. Take a breath in. Exhale, using your abdominals to bring your legs back to center, and over to the right as you inhale. And exhale to come back, over to the left, inhale, and exhale to bring it back. Arms come up to the ceiling, reach your fingertips to the ceiling, drawing your shoulder blades just off the mat. Exhale, gently place your shoulder blades back down. Inhale, holding your hands as if there's just a, you're holding on to a little package and angle your arms slightly towards your thighs so your arms are resting just above your rib cage. Again, inhale, shoulder blades come up and shoulder blades down. And again, this is a very discreet movement. We're wanting to just move the shoulder blades so notice that your neck is staying still 
and ribs are staying still. Shoulder blades down. We're going to scissor your arms, keeping your elbows straight. As you inhale and you exhale, you're just lengthening through your arms. If you're a little tight in your shoulders and you find you can't get your arm right down while keeping your elbow straight, focus on keeping your elbow straight and just going to where you can. Bringing your arms back up to the ceiling. Inhale. As you exhale, now both arms together, reaching back and bring them around. Inhale. As you exhale and your arms go overhead, can you keep your ribs down on the mat? Inhale. And exhale, back ribs heavy on the mat. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good. Arms come up. Now we're going to come into a chest lift. If this is not appropriate for you, let's do something first. You're going to place your hands on your lower belly. Now you want to be in what we call a neutral spine, whereas if you had little grapes under your back, you don't want to squish the, gra the grapes. And instead, as you exhale, you want to draw your abdominals up and in, such that when you bring your right leg up to tabletop, your body torso stays still. Tap your right toe down. Exhale, draw your abdominals up and in. What we're doing using our core is we're stabilizing your spine, stabilizing your spine in neutral, such that when you lift the weight of your leg up, your back stays in its neutral position because we're using our abdominals to support it. Place your right foot down and now your left leg. So use your breath. As you exhale, feel your abdominals draw in. Just let your hands follow the movement of your abdomen as you bring your leg up with your breath. And inhale, tap your toe back down. Keeping the shape of your leg the same, such that you're moving from the hips, so you can pretend there's a little ball behind your thigh and you're reaching over the ball. But the focus here is really on staying still between your pelvis and ribs. Now bring your left leg up and we'll go into leg changes. Your arms can come down by your side for this. Neck is relaxed, chest is soft, focusing the strength coming from your lower abdomen. Inhale. As you exhale, you're going to switch. And, and what you want to notice is that your abdominals continue to draw in. Your neck continues to stay relaxed. If your neck is tight or you're finding that your ribs are lifting, stay with our previous exercise of just lifting one leg at a time. And exhale, 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 and exhale. Place one foot down and the other foot down. Now we'll go into our chest lifts. But if you have um, any neck issues and you find that lifting your head up off the mat causes problems to your neck, Please just repeat your toe taps of lifting one leg and tapping as a modification. So here we're going to take your arms out to the side, bend your elbows and take your hands behind your head. Your hands are supporting and your arms are supporting the weight of your head. Take a breath in. As you exhale, you're going to lift up into a chest lift. Now pause here. We're going to let the back of your head press gently into your hand so now the back of your neck is lengthened and the front is supported. And then I'm just going to invite you to reset your pelvis because chances are you've tucked and I'd like you to just let your tailbone come back down towards the mat. You'll take another breath in and as you exhale, lift your chest up just a little higher. Jet is your head gently pressing into your hands and is your pelvis still down on the mat. Inhale and exhale, lower it all the way down. Inhale, lengthen through the back of your neck. Exhale, lifting up into a chest lift. Pause, gently press the back of your head into your hand. Reset your pelvis so your pelvis is neutral. And now as you exhale, using your upper abdominals to press your lower ribs down. Pause, inhale and exhale, bring it all the way down. One more time, inhale. As you exhale, initiate by using your upper abdominals to 
Press your lower ribs down. Pause, stay there, reset your pelvis. Gently pressing your hand into your head, or your head into your hand, bring your right leg up. And as you exhale, bring your left leg up. Were you able to keep your abdominals pulled in? Place your right foot down, place your left foot down, and take your head back down. Let's try that again. Inhale, chin nod forward. Exhale, coming up. Focus on keeping your head gently pressed into your hand and your abdominals pulling in. Take another breath in. As you exhale, make sure you feel your belly button pull in towards your spine. Bring your right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, draw your abdominals in. Bring your left foot up. Take a breath. Exhale, take your right foot down. Place your left foot down. And lie back all the way down. Nicely done. So we're going to roll over onto your front. I'm just going to take this ponytail out and we're going to rest your fingers or your forehead on your hands. We're going to go into a single leg lift. And what's important here is that you're using your abdominals to stabilize the low back. So when you reach one leg out, you don't feel compression in your lumbar spine. If you find it uncomfortable on your back line on your stomach, you can just take your pillow and place it right underneath your abdomen opposite your low back. So relax your forehead, check your shoulders are relaxed, take a breath in, and as you exhale, relax your shoulders, draw your belly to spine, and reach your right leg long. Inhale, reaching through your thighs, and exhale, place it down. Inhale. Exhale, reach your left leg long. And inhale to lower. So continue with your breath alternating. And what there is to notice here is that when you switch from one side to the other, are you staying still in your pelvis or are you feeling like your pelvis is rocking? If you feel your pelvis rocking, it just means through your exhale, you need to pause for just a moment longer to really check that you're drawing your abdominals in as you reach your leg long and then you place it down and again draw your abdominals in and reach your leg long. Now your option is to continue with this otherwise we're going to go for double trouble which is the double leg lift. Now I want you to think of this as a double leg reach. Take a breath in as you exhale, your shoulders are relaxed, your belly is pulled in, and reach both legs long. So it's not about how high you lift your leg, it's about really creating length and energy through your hip down your thighs, and then lower your legs down. Again, inhale. Exhale, draw your belly to spine, reach your legs long. Inhale, and exhale, lower down. So what you want to know this, is as your back staying still as you exhale and you lift your leg. And lower down, we'll do this one more time. Remember, you can be alternating if that's better for you. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders, draw your abdominals in and reach your legs long. Place your legs down, take your hands underneath your ribs, push yourself up and then just sit back onto your heels for a shell stretch. Good, and as you pause there, take a nice big breath into your lateral ribs. And exhale, let your head relax. Again, inhale. And exhale. Good. So now we're gonna come up onto all fours. So we want to be in a nice strong quadruped position, we call it, where your hands are under your shoulders and your hips are over your knees and you're reaching your sits bones to the wall behind you and the crown of your head away from you. I'll use the words lift and lengthen or lengthen and strengthen and that tends to give us some nice energy through the body that we're looking for. Your idea here is to stay still and avoid your pelvis rocking side to side. So as you push into your arms, you draw your abdominals in, you'll take a breath in and as you exhale, you're gonna extend one leg back along the mat, and then you bring it in. What you want to notice is if there was a glass of water balancing on your pelvis, 
and between your shoulder blades, are you able to balance that water? So every time you want to think, push into your arms, lift for your center, and then you slide one leg out, you can lift it just a little and bring it in without letting your hip hike up. So again, push into your arms, draw your abdominals in, take a breath in, and as you exhale, stay strong and steady as you slide one leg out. Bringing that leg in. Now we're gonna add a little, and it's an option, so your choice is to stay with just moving your leg. Lift and lengthen, lengthen and strengthen. Inhale. As you exhale, extend your right leg out. Pause there. Find a diagonal line energizing from your left knee to your right hand. And then on your next exhale, extend your left, le left arm out. So focus here on what is staying still. Thinking about that strong line between your left knee and your right hand as you lift and lengthen and lengthen and strengthen. Bringing your left hand down, your right knee in. How are those glasses of water doing? Let's do the other side. Push into your arm, draw your abdominals in. As you exhale, extend your left leg out. Lift it just a little. Push into your arms. Focus on that diagonal line from your right knee to your left hand and slowly bring your right arm off. Focus on what is staying still. Alignment and stability, then movement. Bringing this hand down and your leg in and stretch back. So I know it can be challenging to put load on the wrist, but it really is the only way to strengthen your wrist. So do what you can. If they get fatigued, then just stop and sit back and stretch. But do what you can to build the strength of your wrist and build bone density in your hands. Good. And then coming up. So now we're going to do some seated work. If you find it uncomfortable sitting on the floor, you can either grab your block and you can sit on your block just to elevate your pelvis like so. That can sometimes be enough. Or you can just sit in a chair or on a bench. So you can choose what you want to do there. We're going to take your arms out to the side. You'll take a breath in. And exhale, rotating just your upper body. Inhale to come center. Exhale, three, two, one. If you find it difficult holding your arms out, maybe you have some shoulder issues, you can always come to a goal post arm. Inhale, center. Exhale, three, two, one. Or you can bring your arms in front, genie arms. What's important here is that you're sitting tall through your spine, so you're rotating through the ceiling elongated axes and that you're keeping equal weight on both cheekies. So as you're rotating, you don't want your pelvis or your legs to shift. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, and exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, and we'll do one more time. Exhale, three, two, one, and return. And exhale, three, two, one, and return. Good. So then you can take your legs out front. You're going to flex your feet. You're sitting tall through your body. Spine stretch forward. So you can visualize yourself sitting tall along a wall. You'll take a breath in. As you exhale from the top of your head, you just roll forward. So if you were sitting on a chair, you could do this. You would just have your legs lengthened out front onto the floor and you'd just be doing a spine stretch forward from your chair. So inhale as you go forward, picture each vertebra going up before it goes over. As you're lengthening forward, check that your shoulders are relaxed and that the lengthening is coming from your low back and your hips. Take another breath, and as you exhale, contract your abdominals, rolling up, restacking, staying broad through your collarbone. Inhale. Each vertebra goes up before it goes over. Feel that nice little lengthening through your lumbar spine. As you exhale, contracting your abdominals to roll up, restacking, restacking. One more time. Inhale. 
and exhale, rolling forward, lengthening through the low back, shoulders stay soft. Inhale and exhale to bring yourself all the way up to a seated position. If you're on the chair, you can just bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, or we can cross our legs. Side over, inhale up. As you exhale, stay nice and light on this right side on your supporting arm, and then we come up. Breathe in. Exhale to take it over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reaching your hip down towards the floor as your ribs expand with your arm reaching over top. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Nice soft shoulders. Let your head move with your spine. One more. Breath in. And exhale over. Good. And bring it up. And then just turn your head. Draw your chin down towards your collarbone. Gently pressing the opposite shoulder down. Lift your chin and turn back to center. Rotate. Chin to collarbone. Breath in. Exhale. Head comes up and center. One more time. Chin to collarbone, keeping your collarbone wide, nice and strong through your spine. Head comes up and center. Rotate. Chin nod. Chin up and back to center. Good. I hope that felt good. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be bringing in other classes. I'll be doing an intermediate class on my next round.